I got told I was coming to Darwin, they're like, yeah, you're going to Darwin, haha. -ha. I'm like, oh, great, dirt roads, tumbleweed. Got up here, I'm like, wow, I love this place. Well, I knew that I was heading up north and it was going to be really hot and I was coming in the middle of the wet season. And I remember driving out of the airport and smelling the frangipanis down the main road and, and thinking, this is beautiful. I've, I've met many people in my travels, particularly Australians, interstate who haven't actually been to the Northern Territory and so don't really know what it's like. So it's a bit of a hidden secret. And when you meet people who ha have actually made the transition and come up here, many of them say, geez, what a great place. Darwin's an awesome place. There's uh, such a variety of things you can do um, outside of work as well. Well, it's, it was quite different and, and there were a few things that changed about our life moving up here from, uh, from just outside Melbourne. Uh, but what we found is we really needed to embrace the things that, that Darwin offered that you couldn't get anywhere else. And so the socialising on Sundays all through the dry and so on were the things that we really started to embrace. In terms of Larrakia itself, there are, I think there are around seven to eight hundred people on the base, mostly Navy, but we have North Force here as well, the Northwest Mobile Force uh, here. Headquarters Northern Command um, is here, and of course we have our, uh, our patrol boats uh, based here. I think one of the great things about Darwin is, is being posted to the 1st Brigade. You're in a very dynamic environment. You've got some of the best units in Australia working with some of the best equipment. You know, we've got the tanks up here, we've got the Tiger helicopters, we've got the new AS4 personnel carriers, the ASLABs. So it's a very dynamic environment with a lot of units working together, training together and then deploying together overseas. So it's a, it's a really good step for a soldier, both professionally and personally. The vehicles are top grade, the working conditions are top grade, living in accommodation is great. They're still upgrading accommodation every year. We're a relaxed atmosphere up here. I think the whole military as a whole up here, especially the patrol boat world, um, we're proud of what we do, we enjoy what we do, we work hard. Um, there's a fair bit of playing hard too. I love it. I think it's fantastic. There's so much opportunity for uh, different people in Darwin, different lifestyles, different uh, family groups, single people. The nightlife is fantastic on Mitchell Street. That's mostly why I like uh, Darwin. It's been an adventure. We've, been, uh, we've enjoyed more of the outdoor lifestyle. We enjoy going camping and all that sort of stuff. And uh, It's been interesting to sort of see more of the top end tropical sort of area, I suppose. The kids have really enjoyed playing a lot more outside. It's fantastic for children. I mean, firstly, they can be outside all year round. The NT government have a lot of activities for children. But in addition to that, I think Defence um, make the extra effort to have lots of activities for families. Darwin is a smaller city than probably most people expect, but it's got a lot of the facilities and so on of a really good standard that will surprise most people. The standard of schools and so on here is really good. The access to uh, childcare, and to the ability to get children into preschool has been fantastic. And there's no shortage of things for, for a family to do, like going and seeing crocodiles just over morning tea that you can't do in other places. Uh, facilities wise, yeah, you know, we turned up just after they finished the uh, Leania water slides, so that's been fantastic. The kids always enjoy that. There's the wave pool now, which uh, came online 12 months ago. Um, the kids enjoy that. There's plenty of things to do outdoors. Uh, it's quite an outdoors orientated type area. So yeah, with facilities wise, um, yeah, it's quite good. I'd say that Darwin's got everything that you'd be able to find in the southern states. If you can't get it actually here, then you can get it online. Um, there's great lifestyle up here, that's the biggest selling point, is the great lifestyle. Everyone's, everyone works really hard because the army, the brigade here is, is very, very busy, but we also socialise and have a great relaxed lifestyle. And everybody here seems to be used to people coming and going and um, they're really welcoming to new people. It didn't take long at all for us to feel welcome. The best thing I ever did when I came to Darwin was uh, get out and play sport on weekends and meet people from different walks of life that way. Um, it's what you make of it. The four wheel driving up here is the best. You go out to Kakadu, it's, it's free for Northern Territory residents and you just go and spend a week there and you'll find something new to do every day. You get Litchfield half an hour down the road, you go and jump out of waterfalls, swim underneath waterfalls. 
you meet some of the indigenous folks and you go out into their, you know, into their own territories and see the artworks, experience bush tucker, the opportunities are only what you limit yourself to. Do you know, there's something about the Northern Territory and about Darwin that to me actually speaks Australia, it means Australia to me. There's something about the earthy colours of Darwin and uh, the Northern Territory that just really, to me, it's the core of Australia and I really love that. Personally, the reason I like Darwin is the heat. Like when I have to, we have to get up early in the morning, obviously, to do defence stuff. And um, I hated rolling out of bed in the freezing cold. You get in the shower and get warm. Get out again, you're freezing cold. Whereas up here, you're all out of bed, really nice and warm all the time. So I really like that. The dry season is probably the best about uh, Darwin. The wet season is very hot and hot and hot. <laughs> That's about it, really. But uh, you get used to it. You just get on with it and everybody sweats and you just r realise that you don't have to be embarrassed about it, <laughs> mostly. Build up can get a bit harsh and you certainly need to run your air conditioners because of those climatic conditions, but uh, the wet season, I found the wet season just as fun as the dry season. You've got, you know, you've got the mud races. Um, if you've got a decent uh, outdoors setup, you can uh, certainly go and find some adventure and some fun yourself and the kids always enjoy that as well. Whatever people have to say about Darwin, it's a really exciting and you know up and coming place to live. That's what I think people should come with that, that atmosphere and you can grow with the Northern Territory and that's what's good about it. You'll see places that you'll never get to see from elsewhere, but you also get different experiences. So up here it's very multicultural. So you've got a lot of people um, that come across from Asia, you've got the indigenous community as well as a transient population from other cities. So it brings a richness that you don't really get in other places. If you have any sense of adventure in you, you should come to Darwin. Yeah, Darwin for a single bloke is probably the best place in Australia to live. It's just one of those unique places in Australia that I really look forward to coming back to. It's awesome. I'd say grab the opportunity with both hands. Uh, Darwin is a, is a lifestyle, it's an experience, and you'll never regret it. Well, sometimes you just have to uh, take a chance in life if you've never been to a place like Darwin before. you just got to uh, throw your bonnet to the wind, as it were, and leap from the precipice, and uh, you might be pleasantly surprised. Come, come, it's fantastic, and you'll just won't want to leave. <laughs>